Hey everybody, it's Senor Smoke the Grill Sage from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Welcome, you're riding with smoke right now. We're gonna talk about a new product that's hit the warehouses, that's the new DCS grill uh, offering embedded sear burner. This is something DCS has never done uh, since they first came out, I believe in 1988-89. DCS never felt that they had to offer an infrared sear burner um, in the grill. Um, they actually, if you look at the grills, at the setting on the knob, it always it was low, medium, high sear. So their normal burners always got you to searing temperature. They love the idea that they were able to turn the surface of the grill into a searing zone, whether it's the entire surface, or one burner, two burners, whatever it may be. Um, however, you know, once the patent on the infrared burner from Tech expired and other companies were able to offer it um, I think it just kind of got in the consumer's mind that having an infrared burner was something was a must-have for a high-end premium grill and DCS fought that fight and I articulated that for them as well because I didn't really think that you need one all these girls get hot enough and the grills that offer the sear burners are I think around seven eight hundred dollars more than the normal ones um, what this burner is gonna do okay is um, it's gonna take you from unofficially, unofficially, they're saying it's between 700 and uh, 1100 degrees, okay? So that's that's a good thing because the infrared burners that I have primarily used, like the Alfresco one, it's just basically very hot or uh, like cremation levels. And and you can't cook on that. I mean, you can, you can sear on it, yes, but it's a one trick pony. And the fact that this uh, burner can go down to, at least on the low setting around 700, now that's still very hot. But I don't feel like, I feel like you can put things that you're not gonna sear on there and cook them. Um, so long as you're on top of it, you don't go away and have three beers and come back. I mean, you just can't do that, you gotta watch it. But um, that sweep of temperature allows for some play where the thing is not just gonna be there to sear. So there is value to that. Now, the interesting thing about this burner is that the BTU output on it is actually lower than the BTU output on the normal U-shaped burners that DCS has in the grills. And that's definitely a head scratcher, right? Sear burner, it's supposed to be blistering hot but it's lower, it has a lower BTU output, huh? And it's simply a question, it's a difference of the way that it's the, the heat is distributed to the surface of the grill, okay? So if you took your normal U-burner, okay, you have small little ports that are built into that. Some of the grill burners are top ported, some are side ported. If you look at the DCS infrared burner, it is a flat panel that is chock full of these little tiny, tiny ports, little tiny ceramic ports. So right off the bat, if you have more ports, that's going to allow for more heat to come through, right? So if you look at a U-shaped burner with the lack of ports, if you want to say that, you look at, you turn the burner on, the flame comes up as like a finger, let's say. Um, if you look at an infrared burner like this one, okay, the flat panel, which looks like a rectangle, and you see the heat come up from that, you don't even see flames really. There are so many little ports on it, they all become kind of like conjoined, and it just becomes like a flat layer of heat. So we don't see the individual flames coming up like on the U-burner, we just see literally a flat surface of orangish red heat. So there is more heat coming up from the burner. The other thing is it doesn't have layers to get through in order to cook your food and get to the great surface. Your U-shaped burner on the DCS system, you've got the burner, and then above the burner, you have your ceramic um, rods, which are encased in metal grates. Then you have another layer, the grate itself, and then your food. On the infrared burner, you don't have the ceramic rods, nor do you have the casing that they're in. 
So you skip a whole layer. So it is a less impeded journey for the heat to hit the grates and your food, okay? So let's get this idea that an infrared burner is going to be kicking off 50,000 BTUs. It's like a regular burner on steroids. It's not. It's simply giving you more heat via, it's a different distribution method, and there's just more ports for the heat to come through. Um, and that was an education for me. If there's any other questions about that, hit me up, questions at rofgrills.com. Yes, we ship DCS grills. They're in stock. We ship across the country. Um, if you're in the tri-state area, metro New York City area, stop in. Thank you, folks.